Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So I recently did a poll of what kind of video you guys wanted to see and everyone was really into a vegan luxe handbag collection video. So that's exactly what this is going to be. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few of my favorite vegan cruelty free faux leather handbags. So if you want to see that little collection, then keep watching. So to start off, I want to focus on my absolute favorite brand for handbags right now, and that is the brand Sans Beast. So this is an Australian brand, and it's also a smaller company for right now at least. I believe the owner was the creative director of a brand called Mimco, which is a really popular Australian accessories line. and she kind of saw the need for a luxe version of vegan alternatives for accessories. So Mimco is a very leather heavy brand. I used to love them a long time ago when I was a younger teenager in Australia. So she has created a really incredible brand called Sans Beast. Sans means without beast, so I love the name as well. I first came across them a while ago on Instagram just through the Explore feed and I've been obsessed ever since since I've bought my mom some bags as well because she loves them too. So I'll share with you my favorite one that I have from Sans Beast and this is the Bandolier hip bag. So I actually took this for travels when I went to Paris. It was the perfect little size just to put my passport in, some ID cards, a lipstick, uh, my huge iPhone as well um, and then I would just pop like a little concealer and lipstick touch up down the bottom it's not a huge bag but it's perfect for more of a casual small bag so you can see the front of it here it has those little um, magnet buttons inside it has these little card holders as well the front right here it has a really great little sized slot that's where I was storing my passports when I was traveling on the back it has this little zip flap as well sometimes I would shove my phone in the back there if I just wanted easy access to it I think that if you had a smaller iPhone you'd probably be able to zip it up back there so that is the Sans Beast bandolier bag they also have different straps that you can buy for it that are more of that fabric strap and it has the Sans Beast named logo on it too but I just like just like something a little more simple and plain and black. I'll show you what it looks like on the body. Just a simple kind of hip bag. Really good for travel because you always can have your hand on it and know that it's there. While we're on the Sans Beast train, oh one other thing that I love about Sans Beast is that they give back to a farm sanctuary in Australia called Edgar's Mission. So they're not just a brand that's hopping on the bandwagon because yes, vegan is kind of becoming a little more mainstream now and companies are seeing that they could potentially make money off this movement, but the owner is a vegan herself and she gives back to the animals. So I think that's super, super cool too. Another one that I bought from Sans Beast is this little petite envelope bag. So this is the kind of fabric strap but in a bigger version that you can grab for the other bags as well if you want. I know that style is kind of in fashion right now. I think like Balenciaga is doing it or something, all those fancy brands. But this is just my like going out, casual-ish dinner or like a semi-fancy dinner. I also bought this with me when I went to Australia as well and it was a good little companion when it was really, really hot out just to grab this. It's got my iPhone a concealer, a lipstick, my cards in it, and it's not attached to your body. That was really handy, and my mom really liked this purse, so I got her a tan one for Christmas in that little style. They also have a bigger version of this, but I just liked this small little guy, big enough for my tablets of an iPhone. My last bag that I have from Sans Beast, this is, I feel like I, the reason why I grab new bags is because of some like traveling adventure that I'm doing. Uh, so this one I got before I went to Leeds. We were doing a ton of exploring around Leeds and this was the bag that I bought on the plane with me as well. Uh, it is 
just a fancier version of a backpack, I guess you could say. I like that it has a little more of a structured look to it. It does have that drawstring up the top, but the drawstring closes really well, so you don't need to be worried about anything falling out. Let me give you a little peek on the inside if you can see that. So there's like a little compartment there for something a little more than you know, a phone and cards and stuff as well. A little section for your iPhone right there. And then they do have these little button up clips just in case you're worried about anything falling out. But this was a great size for really long day adventures. I could stick a hoodie, my scarf, a water bottle in there, as well as all of my important travel documents, my wallet, tons of stuff. And if you don't want to carry it as a backpack, it does have this nice little handle here as well so sometimes you know if you don't want to pop it on your back i would just carry it just like that the front of it which was one of the reasons why i did decide to get this bag for travel is it's got a great little section for your license some credit cards money anything passport at the front right here that zips up for easy access when i go traveling i usually don't like to bring my wallet just because it has so much crap from home in it like loyalty cards and stuff to grocery stores and stuff that i'm obviously not going to use when i'm overseas this is a good bag if you're doing a little more of an adventurous traveling situation Another brand that I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with uh, if you've searched for vegan handbags. This was the first vegan handbag that I bought. This is a, a mat and nat bag. I'm, I forget what one this is called, but I just searched mat and nat doctor's bag. Uh, I think it might be called the Shaheen. If I figure out what it is, I'll leave it in the description box below. But mat and nat have been around for a while on the vegan leather accessory scene. They use recycled plastic bottles in the making of some of the materials that they use on, this ba on those bags. Really like that they have a lot of silver hardware on their bags. Um, let me set this one up. So I haven't used this bag for a while, so it's kind of gotten a little bit of a weird shape to it just from probably sitting in my closet. But I do love how big this bag is but I'm also trying not to use really big bags because the bigger the bag is the more crap I have in it and then it can be a little bad for your back carrying around a super heavy bag if you've got like you know 400 lipsticks in there that you don't know about and that you're never going to use extra weight without um needing it but I do love this bigger style doctor's bag so this one does come with a shoulder strap that I just used to carry it on the crook of my arm like that speaking of mat and that uh, I wasn't gonna show you guys this but I may as well because I have it right here in my bag that I've been using every day mat and that wallet that's the wallet that I've had for quite a while now I've probably had this wallet for about two years now and it still looks like it's in fantastic condition uh, so I know for a fact that the matte and matte products really do hold up. This is just a nice, soft, little plain black leather wallet. If you guys followed me on Instagram, you'll know that I was doing a little bit of a charity give back with Angela Roy. Uh, so they reached out to me to see if I wanted to pick a charity to give away to. And I selected Shelter Farm Sanctuary, which is actually one of Matt's old friends who lives in Florida. He has him and his wife and his son have just uh, started a new animal sanctuary. So Angela Roy reached out to me to say if anyone donates to Shelter Farm Sanctuary, minimum of $1, they get 15% off Angela Roy. By the time you're watching this, that discount will probably only be around for a few days. So if you want to do that, please jump on that ASAP. Uh, the details are all on my Instagram of how to do donate to Shelter. But this has been my everyday bag right now. This is the Angela Roy Hamilton satchel. So this is uh, just, you can use it as just a little like hanging handbag if you want, but I have been using the strap that it comes with. You look at that and you think that that's just such a small little bag, like what is going to actually fit in it. But my matte and nat wallet fits in that. A few lipsticks. It's got this little 
like side compartment right here where I store like, you know, I just chuck my cash or tips in there really quickly. Wallet, I've got some mints in there and then it's got like a little side compartment right here which I never really use. But I do like that when you close it, it's got just those magnetic, ugh, magnetic little buttons right there. I just really love the shape of this handbag as well. Uh, I've been eyeing Angela Roy stuff for so, so long. I love the look and the quality of those bags. And a while ago when I went vegan and I was searching, searching for vegan handbags, they were one of the brands that came up. So I'd been eyeing it for a while. They are a little more of an expensive or a luxe price point, if you will. My biggest pet peeve with the Angela Roy products is a lot of them have gold hardware. So when they came out with this brass colored hardware, I was like, I can deal with that. I pretty much, well, I do only wear silver. So having gold hardware on my bag is just a no dice for me. But this brass is pretty subtle, so I really don't mind it with the silver. So let me just show you that little shoulder. I like how it's just small, compact. It can fit my iPhone, my wallet, all of that in it. It's got those nice little clippy snaps as well. And I just love the, the shape of it. It just looks super chic to me. It looks expensive. So I can take the little shoulder strap off it and just have it as a smaller bag as well if I want something more of a dressy kind of look. The reason why I love this one is because it looks really chic and dressy but it can also be casual as well i get a lot of compliments on this handbag too and i love just that little pop of red right there as well but angela roy as i said was doing a gift a discount for a charity and there was also a lot of other vegan influencers that they selected that chose their charities to give away to as well so i thought that that was a really cool incentive it was like an anti-black friday incentive uh, so you know giving back to get a discount instead of just mindlessly shopping all these black friday and cyber monday deals and sales angela roy are pretty transparent with their fair wages and the factories that they use to make their bags um, and as they grow they're going to implement even more environmental changes to the way that their bags are produced so i like a company that is starting off small with ethical materials ethical wages as well i love to be able to support a brand that has a little bit of a soul behind it and their whole motto is about making elegant pieces without compromising ethics so i just love that too so of all of the brands that i've mentioned today sans beast and angela roy those two are brands that i know have a soul as well they're not just some massive company doing this green washing which is a term that i've recently learned about big companies jumping on the vegan bandwagon because as you know vegan leather is made of plastic there are different alternatives to uh this vegan leather as well like i know kat von d has a new shoe line and it's made somehow from apples. These brands that I've mentioned are using recycled plastic in a lot of their fabrics too. So I just like to put that out there. Um, if you are going to buy vegan handbags, yes, these brands that I've mentioned are a little more on the pricey side, but I think that in the long run, supporting smaller companies like this that have more ethical practices, especially for their staff and the people that are making the products instead of buying crap from Forever 21 and Zara and all of those fast fashion brands that are just hemorrhaging out all of these plastic vegan products. So that being said, I'm pretty set with all of these bags that I have. I've covered all of the styles that I will need and they are all classic styles as well. They are a little more pricey. So to me, it's an investment and it's not just this fast fashion item that I'm purchasing and then ditching within three to four months because I'm sick of the style. If these bags are not in your price range, I definitely encourage you to jump on Poshmark, Tradesy, all of those resale apps, Depop as well. I personally have popped a few matte and nat bags on there. Uh, I, can, I see a lot of matte and nat bags on there. 
I haven't personally searched for Sans Beast or Angela Roy, um, but you might be seeing these different uh, vegan leather bags popping up on Poshmark if buying them new is really out of your budget. So a friend messaged me the other day asking to look for a bag and I found a ton of great ones that he loved on Poshmark. So make sure you check that out and I'll leave a link below to my Poshmark just in case I end up selling some other stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little uh, fashion special from me. I absolutely adore shoes, bags and coats and glasses. I think those are my favorite things to wear and to style. So I am so, so glad that there are ethical vegan companies out there that are producing nice products for us. We don't just have to be using our hemp satchels. Not that there's anything wrong with hemp satchels. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other higher end uh, vegan accessory brands that other people can check out because obviously I don't need to buy any more. I'm off to go to a vegan KFC Thanksgiving pop-up dinner slash lunch with my friends and I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys for my next video whenever that may be. See ya!